think I read that somewhere in the file too. They thought that yeah, the suspect said this might game cuts power for shit. Why did they call it dissociative identity disorder? Right, well identity disorder would have been, you know, the better oh, thing to okay. do. Okay. But still, to go and say that about Miss Fukawa is perfectly acceptable. Toko's yeah. strange behavior after seeing the body well, she is. is proof enough that she has a split personality. One thing that shows Toku could have a split personality has to do with her, her behavior change. You're talking about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? That's right. Yep. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then when she woke up. Hello, everybody. And hey, <laughs> no, dead man, boy. Hey, are you dead? <laughs> You must be hit her head real hard when she fainted. You well, I got to find that under and the back, a top and there, and the bottom, and a sea of truth, and a bit of lies. This is quite concerning, I mean, she sounds completely different. She was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Not to mention, once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? Correct. I, I went to the Genocide Jack have control. I, I'll to, to drive out the killer, to, to drive out the mother's fiend. The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. What? Toko was afraid. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her. Of killing even more people. Uh, how? Which is probably why she's afraid of blood, because she's like, oh shit, now everyone's fucking after me. And that's just, it develops in her brain. Yeah. How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. <laughs> Don't tell Biaka you see Chris. is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> this is all a lie. Oh. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. What? I lied. You promised. I can't believe oh, you despair. lied. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. Oh shit! Oh. Brutality. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. Oh snap! <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. She but in she spite of that promise. She hasn't. Abakawa always goes back on his word. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't c c keep our promise. But t don't w w worry, never again. I, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, I shouldn't have laughed, but oh, it's just. Wow. That's the only reason I promised! Oh, fucking hell. I promise I won't kill anyone if you go out with me. Oh my god! <laughs> How many times what a deal do I that is! You, I never said that. <laughs> if you break up with me, I'm gonna fucking slaughter everyone! <laughs> Christ! Oh. But you uh. weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing. Could you? I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it. <laughs> but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. 
I hate you. You don't. You have a big old well, crush on him. The opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. The person? Uh-oh. You don't mean... Nosebleed. So Chris Polly suddenly lunged backwards. A huge fad echoed across the courtroom, but in the next second... Oh no, 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 she can just trigger anyway. Now I like her more hey, than... Hello yeah. there! Is it me you were hoping <laughs> She's just to more see? fun, I don't know. What the heck? So you figured it out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? I'm the ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh. Not Toko, that's a loser name, and what happened is a textbook split personality. So what if one of them happens to be a serial killer? You should turn a blind eye to one's fall. so intense. Like they say, sound and murder is mine, sound and murder is body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, oh, or for how in this the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> this is a murderous fiend, Genocide Jack? This is, this is... This is beyond insane! Hey, Jack, uh, uh, Jill, uh, can I ask you a question? What's up? Did you go up the hill to fetch a pay of water? I think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you! I am the mastermind of all masterminds! Just kidding! Then, it's not true? Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid! <laughs> You're as fucking bad, you just make other people do the killing. Thing. The police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless. I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town. Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! This should be enough to convince you. This murderous <laughs> fiend is I responsible think might be, yeah. for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never boom, have boom, that side boom. of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. By the way, I love this bit of music. It's just so good. Sorry, oh no, when it goes like dum 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 dum. But I cannot imagine anyone other than you yeah, this could bit, this murder bit. someone in such a bizarre fashion. Oh no. It needs to restart. Maybe yeah. so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Maybe... Maybe she's totally right about that, but... Something's still bothering me. What she said, I need to get some more detail about... What she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. It's not a dead body I'm gonna go with. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. Mm, no. What more proof. Do we need? Oh, fuck. Give it up. You killed her. 
Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't match up completely. There's only one thing it does. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really? Perhaps if you had an oh, an alibi, huh? When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. No, that's wrong. Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? No. There's only so one sure thing in common. That. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? Uh-oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage, let me tell you! <laughs> I murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. I don't know what any of those this are, but okay. No creation of mine. Let me rephrase that. In a way That's that what a child, a dad said to a child if you didn't like. No creation of mine. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Scissors and the fact that Blood Dust wasn't actually done at the crime location. I got it. Oh, and that, yeah. For one, so the free. cause of death is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. Multiple stab wounds across the body believed to be inflicted with scissors that were later used to attach to the, the victim to the wall. They were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Jihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, uh, yes. That is remarkably different from the other murders. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. That's right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? <laughs> You're putting me off my flu, man. That's right, the second difference is related to how she was suspended. What was used to suspend her? I got it! Do you remember what the killer used so to suspend four. her? They used some kind of rope we'll to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Scissors. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. And guess what? I used my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. Big Mac? Yeah. Are you referring to me? Yeah, Charlie, oh, fuck Big off! Big Mac, there's actually one more difference! Well, there's huh? two, but... My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each genocide. Oh, Jack yeah, case. true. Shit. All males. They're all male. Oh. Oh wait, no, it's that one. Yeah. Is it because I was gonna say, wait, was it wasn't the lava? Take your bullseye right on the money! What are you talking about? In all the genocide jack cases, all the victims had something in common. Ken Hundra, 32, Tosuyo, Honda, 17, Shozi, Gaku, 23, Canute, but to me, any of those could be female, so that's why I didn't really pick it out. But then I thought about those two, and I thought there's a reason they didn't do it. Boy, girl. They were all... guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is 
wrong with you? I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl, and the mopey side of me just hates. Boy on boy, oh my god. Fan, so she's just said she's a gay porn fangirl. Okay. So since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur! Lowly cur? I mm -hmm. would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! Well, no, not really, because there's a bunch of people here who want to survive. That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prize scissors. Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you use the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school. But she any makes them. Scissors? I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class yeah. envy of the entire world. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. She probably Are you makes sure them. Sure about that? Oh, okay. She has them on now. Never mind. Never fuck She's fully equipped. And you're right next to her. So I can kill anywhere, anytime. Um, do us a favor and kill Monokuma. Anyway. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But the yep. body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Or oh, anyone yeah. who read the file. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or whatever. But if I could find it out, surely everyone could find it out. Actually, hold on. There is one person. One person who could have copied the genocide jack cases. Oh, Bayaka? Look at him in the bear. There he is. Here's my answer. Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, You'd already looked through the Genocide Jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? I mean, he didn't, but, well, actually, he could have. Actually, yeah, he could have. The reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was... Yeah, but what secret he got? What secret would he bother, you know? However, he was like, oh, fuck you, I'm gonna survive, you're all gonna lose. The crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. The adorable glasses man was behind it all. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's got both personalities <laughs> crushing on it. What's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. When hmm. you stop showing up for a thing. Thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. Mhm. Mm and the locker rooms. That's suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? That's suspicious. It seems to nobody search the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy. I